Okay. Well, I see where you are. Maybe I maybe I can't because I blocked my view. Oh yeah, I see where you are. Ah, so you're over here. All right. So, um, would you like to explain for posterity what is special about this day, Groundhog Day, February second, two two twenty twelve? Uh, what is special in terms of the software? What have we done today that has never been done before? Well, I, it, it reminds me of a day in March 1974 um, when I'd been doing 3D vector graphics. Oh, and that's right. You did the first I 3D network to, virtual world, didn't you? I managed to get to the point where I could have like a Starship Enterprise stick figure and a Klingon ship stick figure that were I – could, I could – for a long time, I'd been able to, like about a week or two, I'd been able to get it to fly around in front of me and control it. But I managed to get somebody else to come in, and uh, we both had our own ships. We were both able to fly around and see each other, like with our little icons. And I guess over you call the network. that, yeah, over the network. I think that guy was located. I think it was in Ames, Iowa, and I was located in the University of Iowa, uh, in Iowa City. And you're still in Iowa. But I'm in Chicago. Well, I, I'm in a different place in Iowa now. But yeah, I, I moved away for a very long time, became old, and then moved back to Iowa because I like it here. All right. So um, without uh, – can you well, the, the, keep going? What drawing you're calling intersubjectivity. Intersubject, why don't you explain the term intersubjectivity? I will explain the term if you keep drawing things. Oh, okay. Well, Because it's, it's got to look busy. Well, I've got to sit them further away. Whoa. Okay. It's, uh, oh, I just fell off the edge. Wait. Um, oh, so what this is, is this is something like Second Life or a multiplayer Minecraft server, except the graphics are done with ray tracing and voxels. And we've had this rendering technology for a while, but we haven't had the network part. And we have just written a very simple server that sends cube drawing events between our boxes, and there are there are worlds which are essentially identical, but we're we're actually running two different copies of the worlds. Um, so uh, check this out. I can make holes. Wait. I just made a tunnel full of yellow mist into the cliff. You see that? I'm trying to adjust my speed to get over there without falling into the chasm. Okay, so I see a yellow. Right, uh, go, go explore that. Explore I, the yellow voxel. I should I should mention that we don't actually have oh. avatars per se. Right, yeah. but at least, oops, i I got to slow myself down. Okay, hold on. Too slow. Where's the yellow voxel? It disappeared. It, well, look for the blue cliff with the yellow sticking out of it. There. It's behind me, I think. There it is. Slow down. Go forward. There's another yellow voxel immediately above me. I, I should mention that when you get into this, you'll see it's yellow mist. Which right. Which is not it's something... Not a that you could do uh, with OpenGL or rasterization. And right. if you it's would uh, fisheye, if you can demonstrate the fisheye to posterity, I'm sure they'd be interested in seeing that. I've just applied fisheye. Oops. Okay. Fisheye to the max. I'm fisheyeing now. Yeah, what I used to do in space was I'd have a projection plane, and I could make that projection plane be closer or further away, and I would essentially fisheye when you was really close. Ah, yeah, but they, but you're using uh, you were using matrix transforms, so that's just like OpenGL fisheye. It's not. Yeah, well, no, I, I was just doing just doing you know yeah. vectors without even hidden lines. I mean, it's just. We were we were dealing with supercomputers of the era that could execute all of a, all of a million instructions a second. So, and sharing right. that between hundreds right. of people. So the point is, this is an inter so. Have you made it into the tunnel full of yellow mist yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. So there's a tunnel there. I drew a tunnel. 
well, I didn't go like all the way into it, but let's see if I can find that again and go back and go into the tunnel. Here we are. I'm now in the tunnel. I hit the wall, bounced off the wall. Okay. And I okay. sort of see through the mist the stuff outside the tunnel. I'll exit the tunnel and get through the mist. So here's our first approximation of the game. I'm going to try to guess where you are and then draw a box on top of you. <laughs> How could you guess where I am since I don't have an avatar? Oh, you said you were in the tunnel. Well, I'm out now. I told you I was leaving the tunnel. Well, I know. I didn't. I, I wasn't in time to destroy you. Oh, okay. Well, so let me go into the tunnel so you can destroy me, okay? Um, ah, you don't see something blocking the entrance to the tunnel? Well, just a moment. Well, I, I, yeah, I see that, that funny thing with all the, it's like sand and organic green stuff. And gray. if you will go up to that thing and look at it slowly, you will see that there are mirrors making up part of it, that there are oh. mirror cubes. Like at one of the corners at the bottom, like the foot of a sofa, there's a mirror cube. The foot of the sofa. Yeah, if you if you travel around that thing and look at the contact of it with the underlying surface, right? Right. At one of the corners, one of the out outside corner at the outside uh, the right corner. Um, uh, right. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. because you're forced to look at it that way. Um, well, no, if you're looking toward the wall, the right corner. You're looking yeah, for where the tunnel was. So I can try to see what's going on with it. Huh. Well, I didn't see it, and I'm, I'm not sure where I'm at. Am I, I'm inside of it, maybe, or no? I'm just gonna keep just drawing. Gonna keep stuff drawing. Over and over over find, it very diff find it very difficult. Get around. Get around. Right. I see a golden uh, voxel. It's very large. I'm flying up toward it. Ah, uh, flying. Ah, uh, flying. No, I'm, oops, I fell. Okay, I fell fast too. Well, I haven't been able to find the uh, the mirror, although I am seeing through the. Mi it could be that I'm. What looks like empty space. Well, you're not going to see yourself in the mirror. You see the mirror. Just it looks like whatever it's reflecting. So, um, are you seeing? Uh, I'm drawing a lot of stuff in. Why aren't you? Because I'm looking for the mirror. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's a mirror and what's. Oh look, oh, there's space. weave. There's uh Yeah, I did the weaves. Oh, it's by the way, James, so funny. On uh one of the IRC channels uh where I go slumming. Yeah. That shall remain nameless, uh I've been creating a great deal of irritation by continually promising them that I'm going to integrate voxel ray tracing and IRC to create like the ultimate like virtual world slash IRC combo. Yeah. Yeah. They well, including there's a lot of ASCII art that goes along with this. Oh, okay. But um So can you do ray traced ASCII art? Uh, yes. Sure we can. Oh. We just haven't implemented it yet. Okay. But uh anyway, I should hang up now because this has gone almost it's gone uh, almost Oh gosh, over 15 minutes, and that's going to be it's difficult. Long enough. Well, it's right. just difficult to upload movies that long. But uh, yeah, I, I want to point out that I found a mirror. Cool. Oh yeah. At least, at least I was able to find a mirror. But you so know, there, let, let, let me let me figure this out. Let, let's be clear about this. You are responsible for writing the first 3D networked game with real-time interceptivity. Well, correct? yeah, I guess. I guess you'd have to say. I mean, there, there's some dispute as to whether there was some guy that did like a two maze wars. Thing. Yeah, I know, I know. But the point is, um, you have a claim to being the first. 
Well, yeah, I mean, at, least, at least massive multiplayer. It was like, you know, 32, which at the time was like really massive. And, right. But the point uh, is, here you are participating in the birth of what could well be the last major advance in virtual environments. Well, given that hello, it's 2012. Omega. What? I said, hello, Omega. Ah, yes. You're supposed to respond. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Alpha, sir. There you go. All right. Okay, so I think yep. I, I, now, um, and to the internets, I think uh, both James and I would say, we're sorry if we had to blow your mind, but, you know, this, this day had to come. Well, only a select few will have their minds blown because they'll get it. But right. for the rest, All right. they can see yeah. a picture, maybe. Yeah, forget you guys. Okay. We'll do the ASCII art for you guys later. Bye. Right.